Hello everyone. In this session, let's start the programming concepts in ladder logic. So in the previous sessions, we have seen that what is NO, NC and output coil. With these three components, we are going to start our programming concepts. Let's see the first example. So write a ladder logic program to turn on a lamp when switch is on. So there is one input which is called a switch SW1. When we are turning on that, it will, it will turn on the lamp which is called as L1. And I have a small animation over there like how it is in a practical way. Let's see this. This is the switch. When we are turning on, that time lamp need to on. When we are off, it will be off. But in a question, they are asking us to just turn on, right? So you just watch this. It's like a switch. It may be, a, it, it should be a toggle switch, right? Like how we are having in our home. Like that it will be. Let's watch it again. Yeah. So this is toggling. Up to this only our program is there, right? So how to do this in a ladder logic? First, you need to guess what kind of switch you are supposed to use, right? For this particular switch, for this particular example, what kind of program we are going to use? That is very important. I mean, what kind of switch we are going to use? When we are turning on, that time only lamp will be on. So, obviously, the control is in our hand. The control is in our hand means that should be a normally open contact, right? So, normally open contact directly connected with your lamp. So, since they have given the command, I mean description as SW1, I am going to change this to SW1 and uh, this is L, L1. That's it, right? So, let's simulate this and check. Right, so just turn on. Yeah. How to turn on? Right click, toggle bit. So whenever your SW is SW one is on, your lamp is on. Got it? So uh, up up to our uh, you know exercise problem. This is what they have asked. Whenever SW one is on, L one is on. That's it. They didn't ask us to turn off and on. So this is the answer for the first question. So let's move on to the second question. Let's go offline. Yeah. So what is our second question? When SW1 is pressed, L1 is on. When SW2 is pressed, L2 is on. When SW3 is pressed, L3 is on. So they are having three inputs and three outputs. Let's see that here. Whenever S1, W1 is pressed, L1 on. Okay. And the third one. Right. So, up to this one they have asked. So, they are having three inputs and three outputs. Each input is having corresponding outputs. Right. So, each and everything is not interrelated. Like SW1 is not related to SW2. So, let's see this in a software. Since they are not having any relationship between each inputs, all the three inputs should be in different rung. So let's see that. So you should add two more rungs because the next line is for next switch and this is the third switch. Since we have used this address, I am going to use some different address here. I colon 0 slash 1 I am going to use and this is SW2 I am giving. Right, and for this, I'm going to give the next address. You can type that i colon 0 slash 2, or you just drag this and place it over here. After that, you can change. This is a shortcut way. You just change and give the new description. So it will be like this now. Right, I'm changing everything to capital. Right, so now. 
the next new output l1 l2 l3 right so i'm just giving new address with new comment i mean new description l2 and this i'm going to type l3 that's it right so the error check go for download online run now how they have done in a program see yeah see when they are turning on the first switch l1 is on correct yeah so same thing we are going to do now i'm going to turn on this first see your l1 is on you are turning on the second switch l2 is on turning on the third switch l3 is on that's it so one by one you are turning on here we have connected everything in the different rung because each and every input is not interlinked there is no connection between the inputs and there is no connection between the outputs all are different right so that's what i have connected everything in the different rung so this is the solution for the second problem right so i'll meet you in the next session with uh, third and fourth problem until then bye